heard about Marlins guy. That guy who was in the front row the other night that you said should have been taken out and beaten. Beaten with an inch of his life, which I said I was just kidding about because I don't want anyone to actually do that. I don't think anybody will. I think they know it's just an expression. Well, I'd have to disclaim that in case something someone goes rogue. There was a guy in a big white t-shirt back there again last night. Was that the same dude? Well, the, the guy in the orange Marlins shirt is now kind of famous. He's got the big orange Marlins sweatshirt pullover and an orange Marlins visor. And he's got his own uh, he's got his own Twitter account. He is 58-year-old Miami attorney Lawrence Levy. And he is just a big sports fan. He paid eight grand for that primo seat behind home plate. And he is basically a tourist at big time sporting events. He's been to 27 Super Bowls, more than 200 NBA playoff games, 85 World Series games, not to mention an unknown number of Triple Crown horse races, partly because he owns more than 100 thoroughbreds, rarely misses a Miami Heat or Dolphins game, and has been a Marlin season ticket holder since the team's first year. He was also on hand for the Florida State Notre Dame showdown. He's living your life. In other huh. words, he's an ass. This guy. <laughs> What's that? He said he's a nice fella. Why? Did that not come through the bleepage? I heard a beep. So I, was so I said he's yeah. a nice guy. I don't know why my automatic bleepatron 2000. Why it jumped that. in there like That's that? That's yeah. weird because maybe it thought I was saying he's a <laughs> at. <laughs> if you're uh, breaking up, uh, Steve. Something's, something's here's, wrong there. here's the quote, Bob. You ready? Uh huh. Quote, Mar uh, for this guy, Lawrence <laughs> Levy, quote, I never had any kids, nor have any wife. You don't have to pay for a wife and kids. You've got money <laughs> in the bank. Awesome. In your oh, world, Steve. That kind of truth is the kind of unvarnished, brutal honesty that civil society does not want to be uttered. <laughs> But you don't know the joy of having kids. Whenever you come across one of these rare, rare, these are more rare than Sasquatch, is a guy with no ex wives, holds no all kids. the belts. You always call it, that's what you WBA, always say. WBA, WBC. Yeah. 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 Holds so. all. But hey, you know what? Different strokes for different folks. Don't judge his selfish. In Why is it selfish? Shallow lifestyle, selfish. Bob. Steve, it's selfish. so self-absorbed. Self oh, you go to sporting events. That's great. Selfish. I'm happy for you. Selfish. You'll never know the love of a child who looks up into your eyes with a look of a young doe and says, thank you, Daddy. Selfish is having a wife and children that you leave at home and go to sporting events <laughs> like he does. That's selfish. He yeah. spared any woman or children that. Yeah. And, and also, doing, and like you always say, so you tired of doing what you want? So you getting married? Yeah. Was that hard <laughs> to get permission to go sit behind home plate at the Royals' first postseason, first World Series game in 29 years, and pay eight thousand yeah, dollars, or the equivalent of you know six months' salary for some people in this country? Was that a problem? Did you have to negotiate that? Did you have to agree to a trip to Martha's Vineyard for the weekend with your wife to no, make you know up for he your indulgence? He or did you just go, hmm, do I want to go or not? Which no, way is the what he did was he pushed the intercom. Which way is the wind blowing? He, oh, yeah, in the direction of I will. He pushed the intercom button in his office said, Margie, clear my calendar for next week. I'm going to Kansas City. Thank you. Yeah, that's what he did. It also sort of buries the lead in this uh, down below in the story in which it says that old uh, Levy is a personal injury attorney, workers' Oops. comp law in Miami. Mm. So that probably, I, I think he could probably afford a high-maintenance West Palm Beach gold-throated wife and kids who go to private school and all drive BMWs and, and still be able to go to these games. Yep. Being a, and not that workers don't deserve proper compensation, Brian, when they are injured by callous corporations in the workplace. Certainly. Someone must defend them against the maw of corporate America. We can't have a new age of Rockefellers grinding okay, people to okay, their death. Okay, okay, okay. How do you earn the money to go to these games? <laughs> 
didn't steal it. Less, right. At least we don't yeah. know. Well, they, right. You uh, know what? In right. five years, we'll might read be legal. About, no, might I'm, be legal theft. We don't know, but yeah. In five years, there'll be a story about. It. Remember that guy sat behind home plate, big orange sweatshirt, Marlins fan. What yeah. all those games we're talking about right now? Yeah, you know how he got that? He was embezzling. He was ripping off. He was. Cutting corners, but tax what? evasion. Even if you were a simple barber or a plumber or a ditch digger, without a wife or kids and you just live within your means, you stock that money away, yeah, you could probably go to games for $8,000 and sit there behind home plate and wear a jersey totally out of the color scheme of the home fan base and with a team that's not even in the World Series and hasn't been in many years. Yeah, you could actually probably pull that off if that's your thing. But is it going to fulfill you in life? Will it sustain you in life? Hey, I was at the game. That's great. You know, who who loves you? My accountant. <laughs> yeah. Who will be there to take care of when you take care of you when you're old and infirm uh, and orderly? You know what else you don't feel very loved? We're what? sitting in court. The judge is giving half your stuff away. <laughs> <laughs> Not a warm and fuzzy, huh? Yeah. Or when your or when your daughter says, "I hate you." <laughs> My wife. My wife was all down in the dumps the other night, and I said, what's the matter? And she said, oh, Megan just told me that she hates me. So, yeah, I got that going for you. Now, me being a man, Bob, I just wanted to swing into action and say, I'll ground her. I will go yell at her right now because right. that's, that's my solution to everything. Well, that's, I just what we come do. In, that's what men do. We, we, we hear a problem. We solve it. Then we go right into solve. Why, we, solve it, we solve it with the primitive interpersonal yes. tools that we know and use, which is for me to come swinging rhetorically like a bear in the room and start bellowing. Door flies open. Yeah. yeah. What did you say to your mom? Yes. You hate her? Yeah. Do you know what she does for you every day? Right. And the help she gives you on your homework? And the clothes that she washes? And driving you to all these activities? Do you yeah, know how much our daughter. speech Bring vacation? her to the radio now. Yeah. Bring her to the radio now for this speech. And then, and then she'd be crying. And then mom would have to go talk her off the ledge. So she could calm down enough to go to sleep. And then guess who would have two thumbs, a baseball hat on, and trying to watch the baseball game and who would be the a-hole in the equation? This guy! I'd be the bad guy. So I just said, I'm, I'm really sorry about that, honey. You're doing a great job, though. Don't let it get to you. It's that stage. She's 12. It's going to continue like this for a while. Uh, yeah, a while, Bob. What's the usual period of I hate you, Mom? Oh, man. Six years, uh, eight years, get around 18, should, 19, 20. By their it all senior depends. year in high school, they should be past yeah. that, I would say. Yeah. And it should be really trailing off, you know, after their sophomore year. So while old 58 year old schlep faced Lawrence Levy goes to these ball games and has his fun and wears his Marlins colors. He doesn't have to deal with that, but he also does not know the love of a child who hugs you warmly and says, Thank you, Dad, for helping me with my homework. I really appreciate that. Yeah, that's right. That's so it's a trade-off. It's all right. a trade-off. That's what we get. See? So the game, the game, 